hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to talk about uh, we are going to solve uh, this uh, interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity natural log of 1 plus x square over x uh, times arc cotangent of x dx okay uh, as a first step uh, i am going to take the limit integral from 0 to 1 uh, integral from natural log of 1 plus x square over x times arc cotangent of x dx plus then we know here limit uh, we have 0 to infinity so uh, 0 to 1 uh, plus 1 to infinity natural log of 1 plus x square over x times arc cotangent of x dx x okay then uh, i'm going to rewrite first integral again integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x square over x times arc cotangent of x dx uh, plus now uh, for this integral for second integral i'm going to take a substitution x is equal to 1 over u then we should differentiate so dx is equal to minus 1 over u square times du okay then uh, we can plug in so here uh, uh, before it uh, we should uh, change the uh, lower limit and upper limit so lower limit when x approaches to 1 we know u also approaches to 1 upper limit uh, infinity so uh, 0 then here natural log of 1 plus x we know 1 over u so 1 over u score over x again 1 over u uh, times arc cotangent of x we know 1 over u times dx minus 1 over u score du okay let us simplify so here integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x square over x arc cotangent of x dx uh, then here uh, plus uh, limit 1 to 0 so we can change the limit uh, 0 to 1 when we change the limit this minus sign get cancelled also uh, in this integral we know the variable is u uh, but we know the definite integral independent of the variable so instead of u we can plug in x at the same time uh, we can simplify natural log of uh, 1 plus 1 over u score so we can write natural log of 1 plus uh, u score so x score 1 plus x score uh, over here u score so according to property of natural log we can write minus natural log of x square over here this u u score uh, get cancelled uh, so here u instead of u we know uh, we have x uh, then here arc cotangent of 1 over uh, x arc cotangent of 1 over x we know uh, arc cotangent of 1 over x is equal to arc tan of arc tan of 1 over sorry arc tan of x here dx okay then uh, we can split uh, this integral into uh, two different integrals so we can write uh, here uh, same integral integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x square over x times arc cotangent of x dx plus integral from 0 to 1 uh, here in parenthesis uh, now we know here natural log of 1 plus x square over x times arc tan of x arc tan of x dx uh, then here uh, minus so minus integral from 0 to 1 uh, then here we have natural log of x square so natural log of x square we know according to property of natural log uh, this two we can write in front of uh, natural log 
so uh, 2 times natural log of x over x arc tan of x dx okay uh, then let us simplify uh, these two integrals we know uh, we have a common factor integral from 0 to 1 uh, natural log of 1 plus x square over x uh, times here we have our cotangent of x so arc cotangent of x plus here we have arc tan of x arc tan of x dx minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of x over x arc tan of x dx okay uh, now uh, arc cotangent of x plus arc tan of x we know this is equal to pi over 2 so we have pi over 2 constant so we can write outside of the integral sign integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x square over x dx minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of x over x arc tan of x dx okay let us take uh, this integral i1 and this integral i2 okay now uh, we have uh, two targets uh, so we should evaluate i1 and i2 okay first uh, let's try to evaluate i1 i1 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x square over x dx okay uh, here integral from 0 to 1 1 over x and we know uh, the Maclaurin series of natural log of 1 plus x square uh, sum 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 times x raised to the 2 times k over k dx well uh, then we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation uh, so we can write k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 over k integral from 0 to 1 here x to the 2 times k here x so x to the 2k minus 1 dx well now we can integrate sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 over k if we integrate x to the 2k minus 1 uh, using general power rule of integration we know we have x to the 2k over 2 times k from 0 to 1 now we know this 2 we can take outside of the sigma notation so here k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 over now uh, if we plug in uh, boundaries uh, limits 1 0 we have uh, 1 over k so here k is core okay then um, i think uh, this is this infinite series familiar with us because uh, we used uh, this series uh, to solve questions in the previous videos we know uh, this is uh, eta function eta of s is equal to sum of 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1 over uh, n raised to the s n raised to the s so we can write this is equal to 1 half times eta of 2 eta of 2 then uh, we know the relation between eta function and theta function eta of s is equal to 1 minus 2 raised to the 1 minus s times theta of s theta of s so we can write here 1 half 1 minus 2 uh, raised to the here 1 minus s so 1 minus 2 we know minus 1 times theta of 2 then 1 half 1 minus 1 half we know again 1 half theta of 2 we know 5 square over 
6 so we have 5 square over 24 and this is i1 now we have to evaluate uh, i2 i2 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 natural log of x over x times arctan of x dx okay uh, let's solve integral from 0 to 1 natural log of x over x then arctan of x we know we have infinite series uh, 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times x raised to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 dx well uh, then integral from 0 to 1 here natural log of x uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n now here x to the 2n plus 1 here x so we have x to the 2 n over 2 n plus 1 dx well now uh, we know uh, Fugini helps us to uh, interchange the sigma notation and uh, integral sign so we have n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2 n plus 1 uh, times 0 to 1 x raised to the 2 times n uh, times natural log of x dx okay then uh, we can evaluate this integral uh, by using uh, ibp integration by parts uh, very easy integral so we have uh, we know uh, if we evaluate this integral uh, this integral is equal to uh, minus 1 over 2n plus 1 perfect score so we have here minus n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2 n plus 1 raised to the 3 power well <laughs> again we have a, a familiar uh, infinite series we know uh, about uh, Dirichlet beta function Dirichlet beta function uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 raised to the s so we know this is equal to minus uh, beta of 3 beta of 3 and beta of 3 the value of beta of 3 uh, 5 raised to the 3 power over 32 and we know this is i2 okay now, now uh, our integral is equal to our integral is equal to uh, we know here um, pi over 2 times i1 so pi over 2 times i1 i1 uh, we evaluate phi square over 24 phi square over 24 then here minus 2 times i2 so minus 2 times i2 here minus so uh, plus 2 times phi to the cube over 32 so uh, we can simplify pi cube over 48 uh, plus here pi cube over 16 so if we simplify we have phi cube over 12 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching